So types of inheritance. See, uh, whenever you're understanding this concept, here the parent can be an what? An interface, an interface, an abstract class or a class. It doesn't matter. So just understand the types of inheritance. So if there is a one parent and which is what? Uh, whenever we are writing, uh, this diagram is actually what? Slightly wrong. The arrow mark should be upward like this. I took it from internet. Uh, it should be upward. So like, say I have a father and I have a son. If it is son in there, it is father. Then we should not write like this. That is wrong. So how do you write it? We write like this. So that's how we illustrate an inheritance. So understand this one. So now, um, if a father, let's assume parent is father, is extended by what? Class son. Okay, then it is single inheritance. Same way, the let's say there's an interface called flyable, which is implemented by uh, a class called aeroplane. It is called as single inheritance. Parent and one child is called as single inheritance. Now, come to multi-level inheritance. Now let's come to multi-level inheritance. Here what is happening? Let's say grandfather is inherited by um, father and father is inherited by son. So this is called as multi-level inheritance. Multi-level inheritance. Okay, it's actually an what? Uh, extended version of single inheritance you can say. Now let's say you have a, uh, let's say the parent, let's call it as uh, animals animals and uh, the child child one let's call it as you know uh, uh, let's say vegetarian animals and non-vegetarian animals so this level of this type of inheritance is called as hierarchical inheritance this type of inheritance is called as hierarchical inheritance and it is possible in java uh, using what um, uh, classes also as well as using interfaces now come to the third important point uh, which is mentioned as two year okay one two three fourth one sorry the fourth important point what we are studying now multiple inheritance okay there is a reason why this guy has written it in what uh, red letters called multiple inheritance now parent one parent to child so this is possible multiple inheritance is possible in java know this one they will ask you the question in the interview is multiple inheritance is possible in java Especially if you are studying in some academic, uh, you know, uh, from the lectures and all, uh, those idiots will always tell, okay, sorry, uh, those people will always tell, multiple inheritance is not possible in Java. In order to achieve this, we use interfaces. Now, let me ask you one question. Is interfaces an alien concept or is a concept of Java? So, using the concept of Java, we achieved multiple inheritance, isn't it? So, one class can implement more than one interface. In Java, one class can implement more than one interface, whereas one class can extend only one class. So that is the limitation of uh, inheritance when it comes to uh, classes, whereas there is no limitation when it comes to interfaces. One interface can extend more than one interface and one class can implement more than one interface. Now if we say if we have a parent called let's say uh, Java materials and if you have another parent called an interface called uh, spring materials and the child let's say it's called uh, materials implements java materials comma spring materials so that is multiple inheritance which is achieved to its best whereas if the parent is let's say class father and the parent two is class mother and the, this one class son or daughter extends uh, father comma mother it is not possible uh, the reason is because in Java, one class can extend only one class. That's exactly the reason multiple inheritance is not possible using classes. But multiple inheritance is possible using interfaces. Is it clear? So here what you see here. Okay, this part. Okay, let me explain that more clearly. So why multiple inheritance using why multiple inheritance using uh, classes is not allowed in Java? Why they have put that restriction? In the real world, one child will have two parents like father and mother, isn't it? In the real world, it is an acceptable situation. The reason why multiple inheritance, you know, they limited one class should extend only one class. Whereas using interfaces, they allowed it. 
uh, is to avoid the complication. So if it is multiple inheritance among classes are allowed, then that creates an unique problem called um, diamond problem. Let's understand this one. Let's say in the parent, the parent is let's say grandfather and the child is let's say father and another child here let's call it as mother, class mother, assume they all are classes and the class son. So grandfather as a method called good behavior as a method called good behavior what father will do he will extend grandfather and he will override good behavior and change it to something else say bad behavior whereas mother who inherited good behavior she will keep it as it is now if you create an object of son and son extends father comma mother assume for a moment if multiple inheritance is allowed in java i am trying to create a problem and show you if son extends father comma mother if it was allowed in java suppose let's say we'll create an object of son son s1 equal to new son we say right now if i say s1 dot good behavior if i say son s1 dot good behavior the one the method which is overridden in the father which one it will call either this one or the one which is overridden in mother there's ambiguity isn't it there's a problem here so this kind of issue in the C++ they resolved using something called scope resolution operator. We don't need to study that because anyway it's not possible in Java. But using that adds extra complications. So Java they wanted to keep the language very very simple. They don't wanted to add any complications at all. No complications at all. So they wanted to keep language very very simple. What they have done? They decided to restrict one class to extend only one class and if you see here this actually creates a shape of a diamond may not be an exact uh, may not be exact diamond but maybe a kite i think we can make it look like diamond okay now does it look like diamond good so this creates a shape of a diamond if they ask you to explain to explain about diamond problem you should be able to explain the same which i have just explained to you now okay so to keep the language simple, what they have done, they uh, removed, they removed multiple inheritance from Java using classes, but they allowed us to achieve multiple inheritance using, using what? Interfaces. If they ask you the question whether multiple inheritance is possible in Java or not, yes, it is possible using interface. It is not possible using classes.